All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and such, and it is time for Simplex 4010 Test 30, Multitone. I do want to apologize for uh, making you guys wait so long for like an actually decent video. Uh, work has been really, really taking my time away. But I should be, I know I said this before, but now I actually have time to get back on schedule now that I'm officially in a routine that gives me time, unlike... I was before. So to make up for it, I have what I think is one of the cooler tests I have done in a while. Since it's going to be on the Simplex 4010 panel, down here you can already see I have a Firelight BG, what is this, BG8? Yeah. Where's it 6? I can't remember all of a sudden. BG6, wow. I'm tired. BG6, single action pole station. You can see it's not in the best condition. I do have now two of these in pretty similar condition to each other. Going up is a Simplex 49C MT-WWF white multi-tone horn strobe. If you remember the one, or white multi-tone horn, sorry. If you remember the one that I did in my demonstration video that was a red, it's because I have two of these now. So this one will be doing whoop. And then if we come over here, we have a Simplex 49C MTV-WRF, and this is also a multi-tone horn strobe at multi candela and this is set at 75 candela and this one will also be doing whoop if we come down here we have a simplex 20999138 i believe i'll have to double check a uh, metal simplex t-bar i finally have a metal t-bar now and this will be under the cover and the horn for the cover is off because that's just really annoying same door holding system. Everything here is the same. If we come over here, we have a Simplex 4904-9333 uh, 75 candela remote strobe, and the two strobes are in sync. And then coming down, this is also something I got. I just bought it from someone in Canada. So if you're in Canada and watching, you're like, hey, I just sold that pole station. Yeah, you sold it to fire alarms and such really cool it's a national time and signal t-bar one person told me the model number could be 601 but i'm not sure on that yet so right now i'm calling it a 601 t-bar and it kind of resets weird it says it has a special tool for it but really you can just take a small screwdriver and stick it in and then it opens right up because there's just you're just uh, pushing down on a little piece of metal there that lets it get over the tab but it's I think it's a kind of cool pull station and it's old and not in terrible condition. Could have been better, could have been worse, but you can see I'm still working through a box of new stuff. So I'm sure you can already see some kind of cooler stuff in there. And then same enunciator, enunciator and everything over there. So let me check that model number real quick against my sheet. Yeah, I even wrote BG8 here instead of BG6. My bad. So that was a 4904-9332. And then that other one was a 2099-9138. Look at me go. Okay. And we will also be, I think we'll, I think we'll smoke test this today just because fire is always fun. So let's start out with the BG6 though. So, wow. Okay, camera, focus, please. Thank you. Here we go. In three, two, one, pull down. And these will do to our audible silence so the strobes continue to flash while the horns stop. So let's go ahead and reset the BG6. So we'll just take our hex wrench in here. Do, 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 do. Unscrew the top and open it. So here's what the inside of a BG6 looks like. And we'll go right ahead and close it again. And then we will reset the panel and close the panel door. So this is a multi-candela version. You can see it has the uh, little candela viewer on the side. And this has the same design, both of these do, as the new ES series, where it's the mounting bracket, 
with the screw terminals. It mounts pretty much like a system sensor uh, product now or a wheel lock product. Uh, but these ones just aren't addressable. So that's why they don't have the ES at the top and that's why I can actually use them because adjustable stuff does not work on a 4010. So let's now pull that national time and signal T-bar. So in three, two, one, pull. So we'll silence and reset the panel from the enunciator. Now we can go ahead and reset this. So to reset it, you push in at the top to open, flip the switch back down, flip the lever back up, and close. And then you have successfully reset the pull station. So the panel is resetting right now. You can hear inside the relays clicking. Every now and then keep the strobes in sync. So that's what that's doing. And now panel is reset. And we can come over here and open the door back up. And then we can go ahead and pull the metal T-bar. So, three, two, one. Lift and pull. Boo! That sucked. That really sucked. Man, and it just worked. Let's try that again. Seeing that, uh, I don't know what if these do something to the panel. It says they're compatible with the panel, um, but it's like it almost slows or lags the panel out because these will sometimes, it'll do that where it will like not recognize something until you reset it and actuate it again. Actuate it again. And then the horns will then do like a double skip catch up. And I don't know why that happens. And it's only it's only ever happened with these where it's done the where it's done the double skip after missing something. So let's try that again. So lift and pull. So we will go ahead and silence and reset the panel. And then we can come over here and reset the pull station once more. There we go. And then we will just wait for the panel to reset. There we go. So we reset the door, now we can smoke test the smoke detector. We'll get our piece of paper. Again, do not try this at home. All right, let's test it. Hopefully that's enough smoke. That's not gonna be enough smoke, is it? Probably not. It might be actually. No. Nope, nope. Let's try that again. There we go, that's better.
so then I have the smoke fan on the notifier going. And that is blowing the uh, smoke out of the detector, so we'll let that run for a second. Actually, no, well, this is running because we have not done this in a long time. Let's go pull that pull station in the back room here. So we'll come in here. And we'll pull the 4099-9006 dual action pull station with LED. Here we go. Alright, so then let's now check the current concentration in the smoke detector. So right now it is at 0% smoke, which is 0% alarm. So that means that we are good to reset. I don't want to change true test state. I just want to reset the panel. Mm -mm. So you can see it is saying that points four, oops, where'd it go? Come on, come back. Points four and point 13 are in alarm right now. Oh, I guess we can turn this off now. And we can reset the door. Oh, so close. Oh, did I not turn the switch off? I did not. All right, so this has been Simplex 4010 Test 30. I can't believe we are at 30 different systems on this panel. And I think that this was a cool one to celebrate the 30th. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day.